Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 7.22 from Sadiku Book. So the question is, find I, T and VT for T is greater than 0 in the circuit of figure 7.102 if I0 is 10 ampere. Okay, maybe let's simplify the circuit first. So we can simplify this by looking at this one. This is a 5 ohm resistor in parallel with 20 ohm resistor. And then that will be in series in 1 ohm here. But I just want to use this one first. So the R there, the resistance there is 20 parallel with 5. Or that means that that equals to 20 times 5 divided by 20 plus 5. And this is 100. And the denominator is 25. So I will have 4 ohm there. So we can redraw this circuit here. So I will have 4 ohm resistor here. So I'll have 4 ohm. And then I will have the other branch is an inductor with 2 Henry. 2 Henry inductance. And then a resistor with 1 ohm value. Okay, we'll have 1 ohm value here. And so this is our IT here. But I want to make it a loop here. So I will have I. I just write I. But that means that this is IT. And then the voltage is here. So we will have to find out this here. Okay, now let's do KVL at loop I. Let's do exactly that. KVL at loop I. Okay. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Let's start from the inductor. Remember that inductor we have V is equal to L di dt. Right? And our inductance is 2 Henry, so I will have 2 di dt here. And then let's move on to this 1 ohm resistor. So I will have 1 multiplied by i, so I will have i. And then plus, we will have 4 here. This is 4, but we need to multiply it by the current to get the voltage. All of that will equal to 0. And let's simplify this. I will have 2 di over dt. 1 plus 4 is 5, but let's move it to the right hand side. So I will have minus 5i. Or we can isolate the di over dt here. So we will have minus 2.5i. Okay, so now we have a separable differential equation. We can move this i here and this dt here. So we swap this i and dt. So we will have di over i is equal to minus 2.5 dt. Okay, we can integrate both sides here. di over i, that will be ln i, right? the natural log of i. And then on the right hand side, I will have minus 2.5 t, but plus some constant. Or we can rewrite this as i t is equal to e to the minus 2.5 t plus c. Or I can rewrite this as e to the c multiplied by e to the minus 2.5 t. But then e to the c is just a constant. So I, wish, I will just write it as a here. Okay, we are given the initial condition of the circuit. So we will have I0 is equal to 10 ampere. So we will have I0 is equal to 10. So what can we do from here? We replace this T here by 0. So we will have A multiplied by E to the minus 2.5 times 0. And that will equal to 10. So I'll have A multiplied by E to the 0 is equal to 10. 
and then we will have a multiplied by one anything uh, to the power of zero is one right except zero and that will be 10 so therefore a is equal to 10 so we can just substitute this a is equal to 10 to this function here so we will have i t is equal to 10 e to the minus 2.5 t and the unit will be ampere yeah because this is ohm 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 and henry and it uh, the all the units is in si so we will have the unit also in si which is ampere and this is for t greater than zero okay i think we have find the we found the answer for the first question but we need to find out t t right t t okay let's save the it and move on to that question okay so far we found it and now our task is to find out tt tt we see the simplified circuit here tt is the voltage here we can just simply use ohm's law there which is tt is equal to because the current is flowing from negative to positive so i will have minus minus it multiplied by four okay so we will have vt is equal to minus it is this one so i will have 10 e to the minus 2.5 t then multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 so we will have vt is equal to minus 10 times 4 is minus 40 and nothing we can do about this part so e to the minus 2.5 t the unit is volt because all of them is in si so it's volt so this one is for t also greater than zero okay and i think we have found it and vt so let's highlight our final answer this is it and this is vt hopefully this video will help you to solve this problem Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.